The Meadow Lake Kids Club is an after-school program for youth ages 6 to 18. For the past four years, we've had a fantastic partnership with the Boleyn Methodist Church. Initially started with just the snacks. Then we uh, stepped it up a bit and did the Christmas party. Then we stepped it up a little bit and did an end of the school party. Last October, the organizer of the community outreach group approached me and stated that she had an idea that she wanted to run past me. And that idea was this year, their community outreach group wanted to present each of the kids in the Meadow Lake Kids Club program with a brand new bicycle. About two years ago, our pastor's wife told me about a project that her brother was involved with in San Antonio, Texas, in their church Sunday school class, and it was providing a bicycle. And so that's how those two ends kind of connected. We started talking about it and talking about what a great thing that would be for these Metal Lake Kids Clubs. So that's how we started connecting the dots decided that that was the project we wanted to go with, but wasn't sure about our funding, applied for a grant through the New Mexico Conference and received that and then did the rest through fundraising in our own congregation. In our conversation and during the planning of the giving away of the bicycles, um, I suggested to her that I thought it important that the kids not just be given a bicycle, but that they have an opportunity to earn the bicycle. And so in conversation with the youth, I shared with them that they had an opportunity to earn a prize of significant value. So after explaining and having conversation about what prize, significant, and value mean, the kids put their heads together and came up with the criteria um, that they established that they felt they could accomplish in a five-month period of time in order to have an opportunity to earn the prize of significant value. So the, the kids had very um, grand ideas about the types of things that they could do to earn the bike. And it, we narrowed it down, working together as a group, to very um, doable but still challenging criteria. We uh, committed to exercising every time we met for Kids Club. So there were expectations of attendance at Kids Club, expectations of attendance um, in their schools. The youth had to obtain a letter of recommendation or a letter of support from either a teacher or an administrator at their schools. The youth decided that they would read five age-appropriate books, that they would perform 10 acts of service for their family, that they would do a community cleanup project at the community center where we meet, and that they would also do a community service project for four people living in their community. And also, the youth decided to um, have a canned food drive so that we could present food at one of our local food pantries. So the benefits of this program um, extend so much further than just kids earning a bicycle and a um, congregation um, gathering funds together to be able to purchase bicycles. And this was evident in a conversation with one of our youth participants on the day that we were putting together food baskets to be delivered. She continued to question me why we were giving them food and why we needed to do this particular project. And after delivering um, that afternoon at the last home, she came up to me and she said, I feel so good in my heart. The kids met all of the expectations and on um, May 14th, the um, children were presented with their prize of significant value, which was a brand new bicycle. <laughs> Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, now don't you wish you had to read 10 books? Okay, just read an extra five for fun. But uh, anyway, we're proud of you and we want you to, to really enjoy what you have worked for. And, uh, you know, also remember the folks behind me because they help make this happen. But um, we want you to ride in safety, okay? Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. 
We raised enough money that not only could we buy the bicycles, we bought really good utility baskets for the bicycles, helmets for each child so that they're safe when riding their bicycles, bike locks, and we also bought lights. What you got? A what? A bike. You got what? A bike. Go for it. Yeah. First one out right there. I like yours, baby. One of the problems that we have in impoverished areas is the uh, lack of good nutrition and good exercise. So we felt like the bicycles would also be good exercise for these children. It's so pretty. You're very welcome. Oh, wow. The Metal Lake Kids Club is a great example of how extension programs should work within a community. Not only do we have youth participating that are learning skills, but we also have a wealth of volunteers that are supporting the youth, not just with providing them with, with a monetary gift, but with helping those kids learn um, very important personal characteristics such as social responsibility and community service um, and there's something really powerful that occurs not only for the youth but also for adults unrelated to the youth when the youth realize that there are people caring about them that absolutely don't have to. I can't say enough about the congregation and the way they support the projects and I can't say enough about partnering with uh, Laura Bittner and the extension office because we are a smaller congregation so when it comes to projects that we have a lot of heart and passion for we may not have the ability to do to make the full-time commitment Laura and her group make that commitment and we're just a good support system for that so it's a win-win situation for both of us and and we plan on I think a long future with the extension office, 